Throughout the Doctrine and Covenants, the Lord counseled on how family members ought to treat each other. In section 25, women are implored to be a comfort to their husbands, especially during times of trial. In section 42, men are commanded to honor their wives and regard their feelings with tenderness. In section 68, the Lord makes it clear that parents are responsible for their children's spiritual education. In addition to the Lord's direct revelations, Joseph Smith also taught about strengthening the family, and many of those teachings may have come from the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon is filled with beautiful examples of how parents should care for their children and how children should respect and honor their parents. At the beginning of the Book of Mormon, we have the story of Father Lehi, who served as a great example of fatherhood. He persistently taught and guided his family as they escaped the destruction of Jerusalem, and he demonstrated humility and a willingness to learn when he made mistakes. Mormon also exemplified righteous parenting in educating and preparing his son Moroni for what would come in his life as both a soldier and a prophet historian. Lehi and Mormon bookend numerous accounts of family responsibilities throughout the Nephite record. So, not only did Joseph receive direct revelation on the subject, but constant exposure to the topic of family duty from the Book of Mormon. And now you know why.